For the tenth month in a row, we bring you the headlines showing that Tussler's toxicity is hiding in plain sight. states that we support the calls uh, from the Alliance of Birth Mothers uh, for the ending of the in-camera rule in courts in this country, like has been done in Britain. We also support the call for HICWA to have the, the power to regulate and sanction uh, TUSLA if it does not fulfil its responsibilities uh, adequately. Uh, we have a very serious situation in this country uh, where many, many families are in real difficulty and where many children uh, are in difficulty as well. And we need to make sure that we have a transparent system, a regulated system, where families and children are supported. Taoiseach, over 200 children, either in state care or known to state care, have died since 2014. A fifth of them have died by suicide. Many more have died with drug overdoses. And 11 of those children were murdered. That more, more than 5% of the children in state care are known to state care have been murdered is absolutely incredible. Will you agree, Taoiseach? A national review uh, panel that investigated these deaths uh, has had alarming things to say about CAMS. CAMS has on a number of occasions refused to accept children, referred to them by TUSLA, because they only accept children with treatable or diagnosed mental illness. And they also have a policy of refusing children who use drugs and alcohol. Not children who are addicted to drugs and alcohol, but who use drugs and alcohol. Um, some of these children have died by suicide. There's something seriously wrong with the system, Taoiseach, that you'll agree with. And, you know, we're going to see a lot of TDs in here talk very shortly about child protection, and it'll be highly charged and political. But it is incredible that we have 200 children known to state care or in state care who have died in the last 10 years. I believe that if many of them came from leafy suburbs, if many of them had parents who were well-to-do, who had power, who could influence the debate, that their cases would be far higher on the political priority of this country. But I believe that the fact is they don't have people to speak for them. They don't come from money. They don't come from a background of power. And I would ask the teacher to take the issue of children in state care very, very, very seriously. Thank you very much. Uh Les Kincorda, thanks to Deputy Tobin for, for raising the important issue of the well-being, safety, protection, mental health needs and others of, of children uh, in state care. And I think the broad point the Deputy makes about the need for those of us who hold positions of authority to, to take an active interest uh, in the lives of those who, uh, who may find themselves without a voice uh, within the system. Um, and I'll certainly raise specifically and directly with TUSLA on foot of what the Deputy has raised here in the Dáil issue of the 200 uh, children who died uh, in state care over the 10 years, and that piece around the interaction with CAMS, and I'm happy to, to correspond with the deputy and, and, and engage further uh, on the issue. Thank you, for, thank you for raising 
Thank you for raising that and giving them a voice in the door today.